My name is Christian Pilon. My indigenous name is uh, Breaker of Siege in Dajnakaz. I share, not teach, but rather I share culture by the means of building a birch bark canoe. And uh, it's made out of all natural materials. I've had the great honor of working with a great elder. His name is Marcel Labelle. He's the one who shared his uh, teachings with me to be able to learn this craft. So the outer layer, the skin, is actually birch bark, the white birch bark, because that skin is waterproof, just like ours. The inner layer of the canoe is actually cedar, so we use the cedar tree to be able to build the inside. And to finish things off and to tie everything together, we actually use spruce roots. Spruce roots is your tendons. That's what ties all the muscles and the bones together. So this canoe is made in a traditional way. There is no power tools being used. Everything is hand tools and also no glue, no screws, no nails, no ropes. Everything is found in nature. In both the front and the back end of the canoe, there's actually a snake, a water snake that's there and it's placed in the symbol of the infinity sign, the Métis infinity sign. This canoe carries the spirit of the water snake and its name in our language is Kego Geginiwe Gadame, which means the earth within us. For most people, a canoe just looks like a fun ride. And that it is, definitely. But historically speaking, these canoes is what allowed most Canadians to be able to go into the interior of Canada. But it's bigger than that. The canoes, this is relationship, relationship building. Our families traveled in this. This is a gift that Canada received from my Anishinaabe ancestors towards my French European ancestors. We used to travel together in this canoe a long, long time ago. And along the way, we kind of split up. Sadly, we've had a, a rough last 150 years. But regardless, we're still in this canoe. The paddle is out front. We're still waiting for Canada to come back in the canoe and share this beautiful craft.